So this area is pretty crazy. So this is essentially like the Times Square or the Piccadilly Circus of Kuala Lumpur. Very, very nice. Just down that road over there, we've got some crazy brands, literally the best of the best. Richarmil, you've got the Gucci's, you've got everything down there, all the designer stores all down there. So our first supercars as well, it's always welcome. Ferrari 458, major key. And uh, we saw a McLaren 570S as well. So um, yeah, this area is nice, our market, you've got some cool views around, a bit more lively than other parts, but. of fish. Mike doesn't do fish. It's either fruit or fish. Neither of which are great. I mean fruit's alright, we can live with fruit, but that's not what we're after right now. We're very much after some nice fantastic chicken. And all we've got is black pepper crab. Black pepper crab. Not the one. Anyway, we're gonna see what we can find. This is not the plate for fussy eaters, which we undoubtedly are. Yeah. You know, if you love fish, come to Alor Street Market. Mm -hmm. well, gonna go. They've got sweet corn. At least, So after much deliberation, we did, however, manage to find a really fantastic food market right by our penthouse, which was absolutely 10 out of 10. What's even more special is we've got to enjoy our food watching one of the most stunning thunderstorms we've ever seen. The next morning. Okay, so here's a super, super key strategy for you in your gym and in your health pursuits, and that's to know your workouts before you go. Now, obviously, ideally, you'd have a training plan, but the best way is to have a set of three workouts you could just keep rotating, and that way you don't need to think, oh, what am I gonna do today? Cause another impediment, another block for you actually get into the gym. Super, super key. After a top training session, we decided to treat ourselves to a quintessential Malaysian-themed lunch which consisted of several classic Malaysian dishes. I think a big reason why our parents object to us doing things that are maybe out of the ordinary to them or things that they haven't themselves done, a big, big reason is because they just want us to be safe. And when you push boundaries or you're trying to get to that next level, it's usually not safe. There you go. It's all mums. Yeah. So say you're like, yeah, I'm going to be Jay Hull. I'm going to get in shape, and have my money right, I'm going to have a supercar, I'm going to do this, 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 boom, 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 dress a certain way, post a certain way and stuff. And they're like, oh no, 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 maybe don't be so out there, or oh no, that car's dangerous, or why do you have to spend so much money on clothes, or cars, or whatever you want to do? And like, oh no, you don't have to do that. They might be wrong. They're not being bad people, they're not trying to be mean, they're not trying to be hurtful, they're just trying to keep you safe, because that's their job, that's their fundamental responsibility as a parent, is to keep you safe, especially mums. <laughs> Every time I get in a car, what does my mum say? Drive safe. Drive safe. Yeah. Don't just be in Yeah? Oh, right, mum. Yeah, all right. You get your keys and you leave. That's the game, right? And that's why they'll keep you sheltered or as safe as they can. And you've got to fly the nest.
Being a huge movie fan, I managed to book us tickets to what proposed to be one of the best cinema experiences in the world. With best in class seats and high quality food discreetly brought directly to us throughout the movie. We really couldn't wait. So, we're going to see Black Adam. Very excited. It's been a long awaited movie. Not many people know this, but I'm a big, big DC movies guy and comic book fan. I used to read all the comics growing up. Anyhow, I'm really excited for this one. It'll be good. And uh, yeah, let's see what's what. Okay, as is clear behind me, we've just arrived at the 360 Atmosphere restaurant and the Kuala Lumpur Tower. I'm really looking forward to this actually, it should be good fun. It's a rotating 360 degree restaurant atop the KL Tower. It's about 270 meters high, can't beat it, nothing like that in London really. So um, yeah, it should be a really good experience. Let's see what's what with both the food and indeed the restaurant. See you up there. Here we are at the majestic Petronas Towers on our last night. Nice, isn't it? Have a look. 